everyone. Hey vloggers. Hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another vlog. Um, we are going to Sprouts right now. I literally want to cry. Because of the rain or because you're going to Sprouts? Do you sure you want me to be there? Yeah, I am. Um, thing is how I'm making this food for you. I know, but now that I think about it, it's like, I feel like you have so much more fun with at these places. No, I, I don't. I don't know why. Sprouts gives me the same vibes as the time I went to Joanne's with you. I don't know how you don't like Sprouts. It's literally the greatest place ever. I don't like Sprouts over Joanne's. Tom, you have to do things that you don't like for your friends. Exactly. And it's going to be 20 minutes. Exactly. Well, I don't think that. But <laughs> no, I'm only getting things for two appetizers. Yeah, because Friendsgiving is catered oh, by nice. Honey Big Tam. I already told you that. Thank you, Honey Big Tam. Well, no, I paid for it. Oh. Thank you, Kenzie Elizabeth. Well, also, thank you, Honey Big Tam. Oh, speaking of, they just confirmed my order. Oh, what if we Instacarted this stuff? I have free Instacart. No, Dom, it's gonna take two seconds and Sprouts makes me happy. It won't take long. I know. Let's get do it. <laughs> right, vloggers? Guys, Dom is working on being more supportive today. <laughs> I <laughs> am so supportive. I'm so supportive. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, okay, let me get my wallet. Pouring out today, but I'm back in my winter uniform and I'm Wait, so happy. Scarf from the oak kind. You're so good at reaching for things. Oh, oh my god. I did that trend. What? Is that a trend hitting people in the on, face? On TikTok. I know what you're doing. Okay, okay. I don't know. Guys, no, there, it is. And you like hit them in the, in the. No, it really is a trend. You just wanted to hit me at the. No, I, I swear to god, it is. But I didn't actually do it because I think it's kind of a mean trend. That was you. Guys, I know that it exists in sodium. It's Christmassy here. Do you see the tree? We're having such a good time. Blink twice if you're okay. Kenzie's buying me a treat. Yeah, I am buying her a treat. Right there. You're really taking like a five year old places sometimes. That's, That's not hard to said, believe. You don't even want me here. No, I meant that like, you're easy. Look what I found a up sprout. <laughs> Guys, my head is so big. Like, why are the ears like slayed though? Okay, the dramatics coming out of. Look. They have so many hats. Kenzie's just dramatic and she talks about how she likes being festive and she gets into things, but... Uh, yeah, have you met me? I don't know if that's necessarily the truth considering she didn't want to keep the hats on. It actually genuinely hurt my head. I have a very big head. Like, where do you think the cinnamon sticks are? I don't think we have them. They definitely have them here. I don't see any cinnamon sticks. <laughs> Let me tell you something about me, okay? I will get a cold or like sick. I'm not really sick. I just have like bad allergies and very minimal energy. I think I just burned myself out. But the weather drastically changed here. So Dom is obviously gone. It's very sad. It is two days later. Friendsgiving was great. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm actually getting my hair blown out. <laughs> Just because I have a bar fly membership and honestly I was like if I have a dry bar appointment it'll make me get up and tonight I'm going to Drake's in the Mavs game and I like cannot not go to the Mavs game because my dad will literally murder me because he gave me these tickets we're just we're getting back I got coffee it's my favorite coffee ever I feel like I'm not alive right now I don't know how else to describe it to you um, but I got a venti iced coffee no classic four pumps peppermint syrup with a splash of cream I've become a cream girly again Oh my, I don't know, but I do very well. Oh, my house also got organized today. I'll show you guys when I get back. It looks so good. It's the next day. I'm gonna show y'all my closet or my kitchen organization. Look at how much better this pantry looks. I know I haven't really shown y'all 
what it looks like because it's just been so embarrassing but look at this this was like a gift i gave myself i have so much recess like i i i this is pr i just have so much extra so i do need to give it away um then i uh, anything that i have like excess of well i mean okay not with the food but like alcohol and stuff a lot of it is pr or gifts or since i host people bring it over so i just have like so much but i don't really ever make drinks unless i'm hosting and then honestly i host a lot on the weeknights and we don't drink that much so i end up having just like a ton i also have so much like so many extra like nut pods and things over here this just feels great and then going into the actual kitchen feels a lot better i had a lot of extras of just vitamins and expired things look even like the chamberlain coffee is on these like little um containers which are really awesome i actually need to take this i'm like having really bad anxiety which we'll talk about but love this this also uh, like i just have too many cups so i've got to figure that out but looking better i need another uh like little tray thing i think that's it and then my spice cabinet is so much better like i wish you guys would have seen the before okay so we're back on my bigger camera i'm actually gonna take some array little calm supplements i'm having really bad anxiety i feel like i've just i don't know i don't ever want to feel like i'm complaining and vlog like on one hand i feel like i'm being annoying and it's like whatever i should just like not talk about this on the internet and on the other hand like i know there's a lot of y'all who also have anxiety or have like a similar personality type as me and so maybe this stuff can like help you i don't know i've talked about this like so much on the podcast and my youtube channel and just like my platform honestly as a whole but i am an enneagram three so by the way two pills this stuff actually really helps i should also make a tea but i have a meeting in five minutes i'm an enneagram three so my personality type is the achiever i am like driven by success i love working i love all that stuff my biggest fear in life is failure and well i would say the majority of the time i feel really good about what i've done and really proud of myself but then there will be these times where i'll like slip and kind of spiral and because it's like such a negative emotion it almost makes me feel like i feel that all the time which logically i know that i don't and a lot of it is hormonal like i know i'm like so proud of myself the live show went so well like i'm doing so many cool things next year i have like i literally have my dream life so like that's why I, what i hate about anxiety but i don't know if it's just that like i'm overwhelmed with like black Friday, Cyber Monday, and the Okine, and like comparing myself to other brands and comparing like the Okine to other brands and myself to other creators and like whatever it is. But I just, I'm also like having hormonal issues. And then I um, was feeling like really like run down this week. So I haven't been working out. I like skipped two workouts and that is what helped me the most. But like my body literally couldn't take it. And I feel good. I can work out tomorrow. And that helps me so much. But I am just like, I don't know. I'm like sad. Like I feel like I just like want to cry. Like I've done nothing with my life or like nothing's going well or like I'm all like the last or like things aren't succeeding or I'm not successful or whatever, which like I know also is not the case. Like it is just anxiety again. It's not like rooted in logic. And I was supposed to pick up my meds and I didn't and I need to go and start them again, which I like that's on me But yeah, like the past I don't know I've just been like really overwhelmed like almost felt like burnt out But for no reason this week and I've also felt sick and I've also had hormonal things And I also haven't been able to work out and so I just feel like not myself and really run down and I'm being really hard on myself when like obviously I do have a lot to be proud of and I have even more to be grateful for It's not that I'm not grateful. It has literally nothing to do with like the platform it's more of like myself if that makes sense it's just like a me thing i'm also like really hot right now and i don't know why but i don't know anxiety is really getting the best of me today guys and i'm trying my best to just feel better i am luckily gonna see jc and chelsea on saturday which i'm excited about and they always make me feel better so i'm like looking forward to seeing them um and then i just have like a really fun weekend filled with like friends and family and like that's what i always think i'm like even if everything went away i love my actual life so much and like the people in my life that i'm just so grateful for that like i would be happy i, I don't know because like i'm also so driven whatever but like i love like the people who are in my life so much to where like that is enough for me you know i don't know it's just like anxiety is really hard and it's illogical and even when you're in the state of like knowing that it's not logical it still feels like really draining and sad and just i don't know i don't know how to describe it unless you go through it but i don't know i'm just having one of those days so i wanted to share 
because we try to share the highs and lows here but let me know if you guys literally want me to shut up and like never talk about this again because i understand how it would like sound unrelatable and annoying and whatever so y'all let me know um i have to start meetings and then i'll be back update guys i'm doing a lot better um i just got off some meetings and some calls i'm feeling way more myself i actually have a friend from la that moved here recently who is gonna come over for like two hours soon and then after that Macy and I are getting back on our running journey. I'm very excited. I think it'll be good for me. It'll just be good for me to like go work out. Tomorrow is gonna be a big day. I've got a lot on the agenda. Leela's holiday, what we said live show. I have a fossil live shopping thing. Um, but I'm working out like we've got some things. We've got some things happening. Also, by the way, y'all, the Breadwinning Housewife home collection is out. I have a lot of it out right now, as you can see. Got our Brumbling Housewife towel. We have the mat, Fitz had a little. He got sick on the mat, so I ordered another one. The mat is my favorite thing. They are the perfect like holiday gifts. Send this to your boyfriend, send this to your mom, send this to your friend. Brumbling Housewife, I'm telling you, is it for the holiday season. We're also gonna be doing um, like cyber week sales, and then obviously for the Okine. I don't know when this video is going up, but we're doing like a week and a half long sale for the Okine. Sets are 30% off, everything else is 10% off. Stay tuned, um, I'm telling you the holiday season, you guys are want, gonna wanna go get these things. But anyways, it's so crazy. Like an hour or two ago, I was feeling horrible. And now, all it took was some meetings and to like get my brain working, I'm feeling amazing. So, yeah, I don't know guys. Guys, so I was looking at the new Kindle Scribe thinking, do I want this? Because I'm such a journal girl and I would love to have a journal with me all the time. And the reason I think I would like the Kindle Scribe better than my iPad for journaling is because it feels like actual paper. Like my Kindle does at least. And I feel like I would love it, but I just can't tell. I don't know, right? And then I'm looking down at the marketing and look what we have here. Do they know who they're talking to? A garden journal? I feel like now I have to get it. I mean, like that is just obviously meant for me. Like is Amazon, honestly, I think Amazon might just be marketing just towards me these days but guys is it really stupid i feel like the answer is yes it's bigger than my kindle and i wouldn't even use it for reading i would use it more for writing like taking notes i feel like i could take it with me everywhere and it would just make my journal and i would use it non-stop and then i could also read on the go if i needed to and then this is my kindle for home but i feel like i would like take i'm always needing like a journal near me and i feel like that might be it also by the way i did start a book i've been in a reading run i haven't read a book in like a week I finished Matthew Perry's book, and then I started last night. What did I start last night, actually? Heart of Hope by Lucy Score. It's a really quick read. I'm almost, like, halfway through. It's okay. Like, nothing to write home about so far, but it's kind of getting me out of my reading rut. I just feel like I've read every book that I want to read, which obviously I know there's so many other books, but, like, I don't know. I'm in a severe book rut. I think that's also not helping with my mental health. Working out and reading are, like, the two most helpful things. Good morning, guys. My face has felt so puffy all week of not feeling my best. It's just allergies, but driving me insane. It is now Friday. This week in my life vlog has been all over the place. I'm about to go to my weightlifting class. Leela's has their like Christmas reveal. Leela's is a wine bar in Lower Greenville, and it's like the cutest place ever, and they always go so well out for Christmas. So I'm gonna go to that. Macy's gonna go with me. Today is the What We Said live show, which I'm so excited to like go to a live show and for it to not be my own, you know? I, don't, I haven't really been to, actually I don't think I've ever been to a live show. Am I like being dumb right now? I'm sure I have. But I'm excited to see JC and Chelsea. I'm going to go them tomorrow. Marissa's coming, running out of dinner. It's going to be a good, good day. So I'm trying to de-puff my face a little bit and then head out. It's like 7 right now. We're up and at them. Hi, how are you? So it was like a handful of you guys, I remember. Yeah. Definitely yes. Like, I didn't even see you last week, so I was like, oh, Yeah. Like, That's so funny. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Oh my god. Such an angel. Before I even pull up, he goes, Hi, Kenzie. I know that they obviously can see who it is through, like, the system or whatever. But like, let's be honest, I really do come here a lot and I can't tell him that I was cheating on him with another Starbucks, so. Anyways, actually I like literally hate myself. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back from the gym. Well, not the gym. I'm back from like weightlifting at a fit social club. My closet is looking a little bit outrageous because 
I have like extra scarves right now in here. By the way, shop the Okines. They're on sale. I don't know when this vlog is going up, but we're running Black Friday deals. Also, by the way, launches very, 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 very soon. After Black Friday, I don't want to say the date just because I don't want to jinx it, but it's launching very soon. Best bag ever. I would be using it today, except for like, I don't want to, if I want to post, like I don't want to be annoying, you know what I mean? Maybe I still will. I don't know. No, I'm going to wait because I'm going to have so much time that I can wear this bag. So I'll wait. Anyways, I'm getting my outfit together. I'm thinking I'm going to do black coat, jeans, Prada loafers because I haven't really worn those that much in just like a Skims bodysuit of some sort. Super simple. I need to stop by a favor of the kind for some gifts. Um, and then I need to get gifting too because I just, I'm just giving JC and Chelsea PR stuff. So... We're really getting it together. It feels nice to be out of my bed after suffering like a man with a cold all week. Except for I actually did really feel bad, you know? But I did kind of feel like that. It's a little bit embarrassing. Also, I need to show you guys my skincare one sec. Okay, guys. So, what I've been doing that has, like, literally, I think, changed my skin. Not to be dramatic. I kind of hate when people say that. But basically, I've had, like, kind of bad adult acne. And I've talked about it on the channel. I don't know what's been happening. Sonia Dakar sent me this, like, super clear serum, which has been, like an actual game changer. It has helped so much. So I've been doing this morning and night and then I've been using Summer Fridays, everything else, and I feel like my skin has gotten so much better. Even when I was getting my makeup done on Friday, she, Kristen was like, your skin looks so much better than normal. And I just am so happy. So anyways, highly recommend. I'm like, I drank so much coffee and I'm like jittery. Anyways. Guys, I'm so excited right now because I'm about to go on my first or to my first Christmas event for the year, I'm pretty sure. Leela's, which is a wine bar in Lower Greenville. It is so cute. I also only have this, I guess it's festive. Um, it's a wine bar in Lower Greenville. If you guys live in Dallas, you need to go. It's so cool. If you can, which I understand like a lot of people obviously work nine to fives and can't do this, but like on a day that you have offer on the weekends or something, go at four because not only is it happy hour, but it is a lot less crowded. It gets really, it's hard to like get there on like a Saturday or Friday night, but Anyways, or like brunch. They have a good brunch too. Oh shoot, those are my keys. Anyways, Macy's meeting me here and they do crazy Christmas decor every year. Like the past couple years living here, it's just been so beautiful. And this is their like reveal, like their media reveal. I feel like, I think people have already been in, but um, this is like the event that I got invited to. So we're going and I'm very excited. And after that, I need to stop at Favor the Kind to pick up some things for Haley's birthday and then also for JC and Chelsea I think and then we'll, we'll figure it out today's a good day I'm very excited I feel like I'm back I feel like we're good <laughs> guys look who I'm with hi guys your outfit is cute I love the Do sweater actually, yeah um, this is J Crew. it's so cute oh, oh my god wait I want that sweater I've yes. been seeing it everywhere Brooke has it I got it from Brooke obsessed Brooke. oh I love Brooke that influence this influence my Brooke Look at our drinks, the Polo Polar Espresso. Incredible. It's very festive and beautiful in here. I love Lila's. Guys, this is my first time. I can't believe it. It's Wait. so good. We're gonna do a taste test on TikTok. Yeah, so but stay tuned for that. Lila's, Millie, and Drake's are my top three um, espresso martinis. They're so good. And Dallas, actually in general. I can barely make a margarita, so. <laughs> this is really impressive. Yeah, I can barely do I'm like you with the ranch water, you know? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> there you go. And the best part is opening it up. Oh my god, okay, okay. Okay, okay I'll open Cheers, it for guys. you. Whoa. Okay, I'm stopping in favor of the kind now to pick up some birthday gifts. I love this store for gifts. Oh my god. Hi! Now off to anthropology. It's so festive. This isn't my favorite one in Dallas, but here we are. Okay, bag is secured. Ooh. I got the cocktail shaker as well. I also got her a cute little H glass, and then I got myself some glasses. I'll show y'all when I get home. All right, y'all. I'm gonna show you guys. I just finished my live, it went really well. I love, actually I'll show you guys something because I think it's a really good gift idea. Okay, someone in the live gave me this idea. Wasn't my own, but I do think it's good. 
So I was thinking, or the idea that I stole, um, it's cute for game days. So if you're like a college football fan, NFL fan, your daughter goes to college somewhere, whatever. Like for example, blue bag, SMU in red. Genius, so cute. I think that's such a good idea. Or even someone who just like got into college, like I love that idea, so anyways. Um, okay, I have to show you guys what I got Haley for her birthday. I couldn't find any gift bags anywhere. And so Anthropology is like, we can just give you them. And it says Anthropology on it, so it's like a shopping bag. But like literally nowhere. So I got her this shaker, which I have it. I'll show you guys. Sorry, I'm wrapping this hay. Um, it's a really good shaker, and I just love it, and I think it's super cute. And she broke hers. And Haley is like the bartender friend. Oh, God. Oh, God. I kind of feel like I just need to like give up with the wrapping. Okay, well, I got these cups for myself, which is I needed to do these because currently it's like 30% off, which I didn't even realize. And I've been wanting them for a long time. And I'm like, I don't have good glassware for my kitchen. So I got these for myself. But I got her this little H cup, which I thought was so cute. Because again, she's like known for making the best margaritas. She figured out how to make the honor bar marks. And if you guys have ever had an honor bar mark, you know they're the best ever. She makes them from home and she somehow makes them even better there, right? So I got that, and then, this is what I'm the most excited for, because, you know, she's, like, basically a host at this point. Really, she's just, like, so good at making drinks and, like, always, like, has them and is, like, so excited about it. It's so cute. I got her, look, these little napkins that say Hayes Bar on them, and you can put them with your drinks. Like, how fabulous is that? So, got that as well, and then I'm going to do this, and then I also got her cards from Favor the Kind, and I got her something else that I'm like forgetting now that I'm looking at this. But anyways, I'll fix that tomorrow. And for myself, I just got more of those cups because they're 30% off and I've just been wanting them. But I am finishing up my day. I need to get some work done. And then Macy and I are actually going to go back to Lila's at 4. We decided we're going to start our weekend off a little early. And there's no bars or there's no lines at 4. I don't know, guys. I'm just like all over the place. And I'm also really hungry. I just heated up my food. Um... We're going to be back. And then tonight, I have dinner reservations in Bishop Arts and the What We Said live show, which I'm really excited for. And then I don't know what the night, where the night will take us. But you guys feel like my energy's off. I feel like my energy's off. Okay, well, bye. All right, y'all, it's 4.15. And oh my gosh, the purple screen saver. By the way, I have changed it so many times. And it keeps going back. But this is my outfit. Oh my god, I'm like really bundled up. It's cold. It's like 30 degrees out right now. But this is my outfit. Cute. These ballet fonts that I got last year, they're like slingbacks really. They're Vince Camuto and like so cute. Sherpa love. Coat is H&M. It's like $70. I'll link it below. The Okine scarf, which you guys need to get. It is a must have. I literally wear them like 24-7. They're amazing. Um, this sweater is Princess Polly. Honestly, it's not like my favorite sweater. I don't really wear it much. I wear coffee jeans. And I love it. My scarf is like kind of static here right now. I'm gonna take the dogs out. Macy's picking me up. And then we're off. We're gonna go to Leela's for a little happy hour. We didn't really like drink earlier. We just like taste tested. Um, we're gonna go to Leela's and then I have, we both have separate dinner plans and then we're all going to what we said tonight, which I'm very excited for. Which I've said a billion times. Okay, goodbye. Guys, we're back at Leela's really to enjoy and fully drink our Polar Express drinks, which is an espresso martini. Before anyone hates me, it says Polar Express. <laughs> it's not e espresso, it is just an express, okay? But they're very good. So Macy's first time at Leela's was today, and here we are. No, like I'm gonna be back like, oh, it's so, it's okay. so good. You guys. Okay, hold, it, hold it up, then I'll explain. No, okay, Kenzie handed me the camera to film, and I thought it was already filming, and I, I, that was such like a boomer it was, move. But when I flipped it, I must have hit it. Yeah. I messed I, it up, guys, I'm sorry, but it, it did the thing again. Basically, she opened up the drink, and it's really good. Cool. That's not nice, but you have to go to Lila's in the winter time. They're honestly, I kind of, I will say they're, uh, before in the past has been way crazier and more good. And I like the disco. But I like the disco, I'm into it. I like the disco ball. I never even thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> They've seen enough content from here. <laughs> you know what, actually, goodbye guys. <laughs> now cheers. She's letting me know that I could uh, get this from her garden. Thank you. You <laughs> can. Oh my gosh, wait, there's snowflakes. Guys, it's so festive. And just, oh my god, it's so exciting. Okay. I could cry, I'm so happy.
going to Britain by the Season for so the first time. Same owner as Tribal. I've been here for like literally 30 seconds and I've already run into four people I know. I love Bishop Arts. Literally the best place ever. We made it. Just want you to know like how much it truly impacts us that you listen every week and that you tell your friends about the podcast and when you DM us or leave funny comments like we just love you guys so much and we're very appreciative so thank you guys you guys so so much for everything and oh thank you guys <laughs> love you guys we love you guys and that's, that's what, what we said, said. Saturday y'all I just made some coffee I was watching Brooks vlog I ordered Chick-fil-a for breakfast I woke up and I had like I thought about how I wanted it for breakfast I had five minutes to order it and I was like so quick also my tan guys it has looked better but this is the issue with winter that I'm always wearing long sleeves so it takes me forever to fix it last night was so fun we went to the show we went to Millie after I came home and I read I was home by like 10 30 I'm gonna go get lunch with JC and Chelsea in like two hours they're leaving today I think we're going to go to Otter Bar. Of course, we're taking them there. I told JC we should go there, and she's like, yeah, I hear about that all the time in your vlogs. And I was like, exactly, yes. So, I think I'm going to watch the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie um, and eat my DoorDash. Also, y'all, okay, so I'm not, like, a huge reality TV girl. I try. I'm not, like, super into it. It's just, like, not my thing, even though I want it to be. I feel like I loved it when I was younger, and my mom didn't like it, and so I would, like, watch it behind her back, and then, like, it just slowly grew since i didn't watch it a lot maybe that's i don't know like i really don't know what it is and i want to like it because i want to be more in the know you know john made me watch like two episodes of love is blind and the one person that i liked i was like oh my god sk like he seems so sweet and then i just saw all of the tiktoks this morning i woke up to them of the girl exposing him that he's been like cheating and he's a liar and he's a schemer and this is why i don't like these shows I cannot believe it he even fooled me and normally i feel like my friends who were like, oh my god, he fooled me, and I watch it, and I'm like, he's the biggest douchebag I've ever seen in my life, you know? Not that, like, I am good at this in real life, just, like, on the show, but SK, like, seemed nice, and now I'm like, what the fuck? So, anyways, gonna go watch a Christmas movie, and then get ready for lunch at Honor Bar, and tonight, we're celebrating his birthday. Oh, I totally forgot. I got, like, stickers to cover an 818 bottle, so I'll buy that today and show you guys. I was like, I know I got other things. Um, I got them like months ago, so it would be cute for their bar card. This is like Haley's 25th or Haley's birthday or something like that. Um, from Sarah's signature. I also got some for like other future stuff that I'll show as time goes on. But really cute. I'm actually pretty sure she's Dallas based. I found her on TikTok and I just have been making orders and I'm a big fan. Alright, y'all. Listening to Armchair Expert. I made it to Highland Park Village. JC and Chelsea are about to be here. Here's my outfit. I'm literally wearing like the same outfit in like a different color every single day. I'm off, I think this camera is dying as always, but we'll see. Guys, brought the girlies to Honor Bar. Oh my God, wait, thumbnail. <laughs> Done with lunch, literally ran into Haley at Honor Bar and I'm picking up her birthday cake here. Just saw they do wedding cakes. That will be me at my wedding. Susie's, Susie cakes, the best place ever, celebration cake. All right, y'all, I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Haley's birthday, just to give you guys gift ideas. Um, so, I'm going to head out pretty soon. I'm about to end this vlog, but I did want to show you guys. This background, Hay is like incredible at making marks. She makes the best marks ever. So I got her like a little hosting kind of themed gift. Got her 818. She's not like obsessed with 818. I just got this sticker that says 818 Haley's birthday from Sarah's signature. Just because it's cute and personalized and like it will be cute in their bar cart. I got these napkins that say Hayes bar on them, which I thought were adorable. I had these made. I got her a shaker because she needed a new one. And then I also got her this little H um, glass. And then I also got, of course, Susie Cakes. My camera is dying, so I have to go. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next vlog. Okay, bye. Not even matching. It's like, oh, you give me all this bad energy. Like, I'm gonna just bundle it back up and throw it back in a different way. And in this case, it was a letter to the IRS. Yes.